This is Boy Scout Troop 166. They are hiking up to the crash site as they do every year. They'll be taking me along to film their experience. The hike to the crash site is about 11 miles round trip, and the trails get difficult to follow as you get close. For many of the scouts, this is their first time hiking this trail. It'll be my okay, first so time as well. All these little lines you see here that kind of shape out mountains are basically contour lines. So I'm hiking with the uh, fastest group of the Boy Scout group. Uh, keeping up with a bunch of 15 year olds. It's a little difficult, but uh, we are making our way to uh, where we're going to camp for the night, which is about just under three miles away. We'll set up there, and uh, tomorrow we'll take some day packs. We'll go up to the TWA crash site. That day it passed 90 degrees in the foothills. It was important to stop and take breaks often. Where we were heading, however, it would drop by another 20 degrees in temperature. We were about two and a half miles in. We were getting close to the campsite. It feels so weird when I don't have my snake. As luck would have it, however, we came across a rattlesnake. So that is a western diamondback rattlesnake. Well, the scouts found it. A couple of scouts walked through it. I walked through it. <laughs> he walked through it. Normally you wait for a rattlesnake to move. Our problem was he wasn't going to go anywhere without a little assistance and he was blocking our only path. Get back about 10 feet. Come on little guy. Stay back. Okay guys, we'll just go through, just go through nice and slow, one at a time, okay? Yep. Okay, nice and slow, no sudden movements. One at a time. Alright. We stayed around to make sure everyone made it through safely. Finally, we made it to our campsite. We made camp. For some of the scouts, this was their first time setting up tents. Yeah, I figured there was a rock down there. This is ridiculous. Don't slip. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Almost got that on video. Safe. So we lucked out with the weather today. Uh, it's just partly cloudy, so that gave us some shade. Unfortunately, though, I spoke too soon. With the rain, some of the scouts got unlucky and their tents flooded. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're gonna have to find a new spot. Yeah. Got water in there? Probably. Okay, yep, we sure do. Where's the door? Okay, can you open the door and uh, pull up on the floor? We'll get the water out of there. Open the door, Hank. Three, two, one. All right. When the rain stops, uh, maybe this will clear up and you guys can set your tent back down. It just won't stop raining. Eventually though, the rain cleared, so the scouts could finally set up a bear bag. Oh, there you go. Plenty. Perfect. We then heard some coyotes, so we tried to see if we could get them to howl again. Two, one.
So it's uh, 7.30 a.m. and everyone's woken up and getting breakfast and we'll uh, head to the TWA site soon. Nice and slippery. The hike to the crash site from our campsite would be another three miles while climbing another 1,000 feet on the way. They are waving at the tram that's going by. You look very carefully. See it out there. I'll zoom in. There it is. Well, it's to your right. Yeah. Underneath the cables. You guys are doing great. You're making good time. So we uh, started a little late heading out for the trail, but we've been moving pretty fast, so we're making great time. At the same time though, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's exhausting. Actually, I actually kind of want to see the, I actually kind of want to go here. On the left side of the log, Thanks. You're welcome. That's the first piece of debris that we've come across. The impact site's right there. Hold up. It hit and it slid down the face. 1955. Probable cause of the accident was stated by the Civil Aeronautics Board to be deviation from approved flight plan. For On February 1955. TWA Flight 260 left Albuquerque for Santa Fe in cloudy weather. They had been another 40 feet higher. They'd have made it. For the 13 passengers and three crew, it would be their last trip. So uh, it was quite a difficult hike to get up here. Um, a lot of it had grown in, so we had a lot of debris. But uh, we finally started seeing pieces of the wreckage as we worked our way up. And uh, now you can see quite a bit of uh, wreckage 